this one is column 1.38 in this one there is a bicycle chain here and there is a bolt cutter which is trying to cut this chain and we need to figure out the forces that are being applied on the bicycle chain from this bolt cutter okay so we can start drawing the free boy diagrams of these individual parts of the bolt cutter here so i'm going to separate this one so if i draw it here this is the first part now this is attached with this link so i'm going to separate this link here okay now then there's a connection here so this one goes there and let's draw this part here okay now in terms of forces there will be a contact force because of the chain coming here so let's call this f this is what we are interested in finding now at this point right here let's say there will be these forces call fby here and fbx and equal and opposite forces will come on this one here so this goes here and this goes here so this is fbx and this one is fby at this point similarly we are going to have fcy here and both of these are fcx now at this point if you separate it out we will have these forces let's call this fdx fdy i am just going with abcd nomenclature and at this point here there is this 320 now in terms of distances there are two distances given here one is this one here slanted distance is 25 and from here to here this is 200 now for this link right here uh, if you look at the force balance if fby is coming on the top there should be a force coming in the opposite direction from the bottom part of this cutter similarly to balance this fbx on the bottom part equal and opposite force should be coming on this one this way this is just to do the force balance now if you start looking at the moment balance for this one here and if i take moment let's say for example about this point here both fby will not give you any moment but since there is a gap between fbx and if this gap is let's say h here the moment is going to be fbx times h equals to zero now for the purpose of moment balance this fdx in that case needs to be equals to zero so now i can ignore this force and i can ignore this force here similarly if i look at this one right here in this part there is only one force that is fcx in the x direction for force balance in the x direction this also needs to disappear so fcx is going to be zero now we can start writing the force balance equations and moment balance equations for each one of these parts in detail so that we can figure out the value of f Looking at the forces on this part in the y direction, we can write that F plus FBY plus FCY needs to be equals to 0. Now for the moment, let's take moment about this point B right here. So your F is going to be at a distance of 25 from here and clockwise moment. So F into 25. Okay. And then this FCY is going to give you a counterclockwise moment. So FCY and the distance from here to here is going to be this 62 so 62 goes there so from this we can see that your f is going to be 62 divided by 25 times fcy so if you can find the value of fcy we have the value of f now to find the value of fcy we can go to this part right here okay remember this force is not there because fcx is zero but there will be which i have missed out force which is your fcy here equal and opposite at that point okay so this is how the forces are going to be on this part i can do the moment balance about this point d right here and when i write this moment balance equation we are going to get fcy times this distance which we do not know at this point so i'm going to call this x which is the distance between these two points here so this distance right here is x so fcy times x and this is going to give you a counterclockwise moment is going to be equal to this 320 times this horizontal distance from here to here okay so let's call this as x1 so 320 times x1 now to calculate x1 we can look at this triangle right here this is 125 so this becomes 62.5 and the slanted length is 200 here so using Pythagoras theorem we can find out x1 to be square root of 200 square minus 62.5 square which comes out to be 
1.98 so we can approximately write this as 190 mm now to calculate x we can look at the handle part on this again okay so on the handle part this distance is 62.5 this one is 200 and this part that was attached on this side here it's given that this distance is 25 so i can complete this triangle and if i mark this angle as theta this internal angle here this angle is also theta and this distance is 25 what we are interested in is this horizontal distance x using similar triangles if i write sine theta from the bigger triangle i can write 62.5 divided by 200 and from the smaller triangle it's going to be x divided by 25 so this gives us x equals to 7.81 millimeters now x1 is known x is known i can go back to this equation right here and i can substitute both of these so this gives us a value of fcy equals to 7781.7 newtons and if i substitute back into the equation which is this one right here the f value is calculated to be 19.3 kilonewtons